in a world where Hollywood just can't stop making horrible reboots. I wish I knew how to quit you. Why don't you? Mm, mm, mm. And they're both boys. Where no film is off limits. Am I really gonna defile this grave for money? Of course I am! <laughs> Another film will be made that no one asked for. The Crow. Nice makeup. It's no secret that people are getting tired of the endless dump of reboots in Hollywood. Mostly because they are soulless cash grabs targeting fans of movies that never needed to be rebooted in the first place. The point of reboots is to find stories that may have missed the mark on their first go around. Whether that was due to a lack of technology, unexplored ideas, or just plain bad execution. And a reboot can give these stories a second chance, which I believe is needed in Hollywood. Case in point, John Carpenter's The Thing, one of the greatest movies ever made, is a reboot. Which is why the 2011 reboot of the reboot sucked, because there was no point in rebooting a film that is already damn near perfect. All this to say, there are many movies out there that could definitely use a reboot to reach their story's full potential. However, I do not believe 1994's The Crow is one of those movies. Sure, stylistically, it may not be everyone's cup of tea as it is very much a product of the 90s. Can I get more black leather and edge, please? But story-wise, it was an effective narrative about a man seeking revenge in a supernatural, gothic-like setting. It's already a good movie with nothing really to add or explore. So I still don't know why, but I found myself sitting alone in an empty theater, this is true, watching the reboot, The Crow. And I honestly don't know why. Maybe because I was coming off a vacation and my brain was still a little rattled. Regardless, it's a bad movie. Is it the worst movie of 2024? No. That title is still being contended by these two absolute gems. However, it is still a poorly made film that didn't need to exist. So, unlike my usual review videos, I'm gonna try to speedrun this because, honestly, this movie has already eaten up too much of my time. So, here we go. Bam! Critic score. Bam! There you have it! Bam! Schmo score. Bam! 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 bam, bam, bam. And no need for spoiler warnings because, let's be real, you ain't gonna go see this movie. Now, this movie has bad dialogue, pointless scenes, bad casting, bad acting, and doesn't really have an ending. But for the sake of time, I'm just gonna focus on this movie's biggest problem, time management and narrative flow. Because this movie start and stops like four times. It's terrible. So the movie starts off with the main protagonist's love interest on the run from a dangerous group of people. That's start number one which is pretty good, engaging, and semi-interesting. Except for she isn't the love interest because she hasn't met the protagonist yet. And since the premise of this entire movie is a man getting supernatural revenge on the people who killed his love, we now have to spend time establishing their relationship. Enter start number two, the romantic dating scenes. And if you're wondering, Wait, what about the whole being on the run and the dangerous people? How does that work with all this? Good question. Now shut up and watch these cringy romance scenes. Then halfway through the film, they get killed. And now it's time for the crow revenge story with start number three, right? Wrong, because he's only half crow and he sucks and fails until finally after coming back again, 
This time, he's full crow. So that we can finally have start number four. Unfortunately, this comes in at around 80 minutes into the film, which for perspective, this is the point where the original 1994 The Crow starts. Yep, our main guy dies before the movie even starts. Then he pops out, gets crowed, and downs a guy within the first 15 minutes of the movie. See, that's called good time management. So he's full crow now, and he goes on a rampage in the opera house. That's what all the clips you've seen in the trailer are from. But because they wasted so much time getting here, they have no time for an ending. So he just beats the main baddie with no resistance or gravitas. And then it's revealed the whole thing might have been a dream, or he somehow changed the fabric of reality for a new reality. I don't know. Nobody knows. It's stupid and bad. You don't need to see this movie. The point I want to make with this video is that rebooted movies have a place when done for the right reasons. However, I'm not sure we'll ever see a good reboot like John Carpenter's The Thing because Hollywood, being allergic to taking any risk nowadays, will only bankroll reboots of beloved popular movies. But if the movie is beloved and popular, it's usually already a good movie that doesn't need to be rebooted. In order to get good reboots, you have to start with a movie that didn't do well and isn't liked by everyone, and then you fix it. But I don't see that practice happening anytime soon. Ugh. I usually avoid seeing movies that I know are going to be bad, so I really don't know what happened with me on this one. Maybe the madness is finally starting to take hold. Anyways, blah blah blah, my usual outro nonsense, uh, bye now.